Hey everyone, this is Carla R. Jenkins and today is Monday, May 23rd, 2022. And this video is about the Microsoft 365 Fundamental Certification. So if you've been following me over this weekend, you would know that I sat for this exam using my free cloud voucher from Learn the Cloud. So thank you, Gwen, um, for the AZ700 Cloud Skills Challenge to get the free voucher to sit for this. So I want to say that. Uh, because there was a job that I saw that I was interested in and I needed that. I have like four associates, but I needed the MS 900 to qualify for it. So I used my free voucher and I'm very happy that I passed it. But what I will say is, and I met, I'm recording this May 23rd, 2022, that the exam changed May 18th. None of the resources that I use directly uh, was, you know, the the exam prep, the questions, the content wasn't directly what was on there. And I relied a lot on my Microsoft security knowledge and skill set. So before this, I was SC900, which is Microsoft Securities, and SC200, which is Microsoft Security Operations Analyst, as well as having um, AZ-104 and AZ-700 uh, background, so I knew a lot of the Azure side of it. Um, if you are taking MS-900, I would recommend uh, doing the official Microsoft Learn learning path because it has the most updated information, as well as finding adjacent and tangential concepts uh, like Microsoft Viva, uh, know all of the different services also know the cloud solutions provider the new uh the new type of you know service agreement that they have another thing i also want to bring out because they changed the exam there may be some sample questions out there and it says updated like january 2022 those aren't really relevant now the vocabulary is relevant but the way the questions are framed, it's not the same. So that's what I would recommend because I use some test material because I have a subscription and I also found some stuff, a couple of tutorials off of Microsoft that really filled in the gaps. But on, on my exam, there is a shift and there is a market difference between what's currently out here versus the uh, May 18th, 2022 uh, Microsoft 365 fundamentals uh, update. However, I passed my 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 score was over 700, but I did want to preference that um, that was important that I had to rely on my previous knowledge of Microsoft 365 because of the test change and it's five days afterwards. And as of right now, this day, the materials have not caught up with it. I, I still feel that it's a good exam. I will keep you posted on like the update regarding the ms 900 so as of right now i'm gonna get the certification submit and see what happens but i would like to thank everyone for watching and all the support for me also if you do need help in microsoft 365 as well as security uh get in touch with me at carlrjenkins.com forward slash contact and also you can subscribe to my youtube uh, by clicking the like, subscribe, and bell icon to never miss any videos in IT cloud and project management. If you're outside of YouTube, you can subscribe at carlarjenkins.com forward slash YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Have a wonderful night.